Okay. Well, uh, let's look at these problems. Really? And, uh, really? number one. Daddy's here. Dang it. Uh, but, uh, so S plus 7. Well, S is 2. So S plus 7, 2 it's plus nine. 7. Actually, it's 9. Okay, it's a very good. Uh, what did you guys get for number 2? Why? Eight. 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 That's very good. U is 1, so 9 minus 1 is 8. Right? What's the value of T? Seven, so three times seven plus one equals? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Excellent work. Last time we went over problems that were more like this one, all right? So you've got, uh, I don't know, uh, x plus two plus three x, uh, negative three x minus four, right? Something like this. Well, today, there's going to be a difference in the problems. It's not going to look like this. The one thing is going to be different, but it's going to change many things. Like uh, that stuff you put into drinks, it changes everything. All right? So, uh, what you will see is this will be gone. It's just gone. Okay? And this is what you will see in its place. Bam. But it's not very easy. It's super easy. Okay? Here's what you can do. Is you're gonna change it to plus. Oh my god. That's so hard. Wait, why? That's it. Okay? Just change it? Just change it. Alright? We can't do that in math. We just did. The geeks in it. No. Okay. Now when you do this, it does affect other things inside the parentheses to the right, okay? Now I said that because the term takes the operation to its left. Left, right? Right. right. Ah, see how I did that? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change also this three x, see how it's negative three x? It's now positive. See how that's minus? Plus. Bam. Now we can add. Okay? That this operation between the print i is minus, right? But we don't want to minus because all we've been doing is adding. And adding is super awesome. Okay? So let's change it to adding. But remember, if you change it to adding, we have to look at this set of print i and change all of the signs inside of it, okay? So in other words, we got this, now it's plus. See how this 21x is positive? Mm -hmm. Now it's going to turn into a negative. 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 No. And you see how this is minus? Positive. Now it's going to change into a plus, okay? See, now that we're changing this to plus, we can start combining stuff, all right? Let me show you guys another way to actually do the problem after you've changed the signs, okay? So you've got this 5x minus 2. It's all fine and dandy. But then on the other side, you've got this negative 21x plus 7, right? All we're doing is simplifying this expression. So what you can do is you can take the x's or the bags and combine those, right? Well, what this means is we can separate these to the left of the operation. So now we're just focusing on 5x minus 21x. What is 5x minus 21x? Uh, uh oh, it's going to be negative, so. Is it 26 or 16? Yeah, negative 16x. Very good. Now, here's, here's the kicker on this, is negative 2 plus 7 is 5. five. Now, but is the 5 positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, and we indicate that it's positive. But when we read this expression, we say it's negative 16x 
plus 5. Why? You wouldn't say negative 16x positive 5, because that would be more confusing to people. Which is good for math, but just bad for people. Okay. <laughs> when we change this, because this was originally minus, right? Uh -huh. It only affects the parentheses to its right, because this could be considered, all of the parentheses could be considered one term. And every term takes the operation to its left. Okay? If you see problems like this, you do need to distribute first. All right? So in other words, we're going to take the 8 and distribute it. Now listen, when you distribute the 4, just distribute it as though it were positive. Okay? Distribute it first, and then we'll deal with the minus later. Everything good? Uh, what's 8 times negative? So we're here. What's 8 times negative 7x? Negative 56. There you go. Negative 56x. Big number. We're going to keep the sign. 8 times 18? Oh, that's a big one. 144. 144. Very good. Thank you, Lonnie, for having those. Oh, there's that. Minus 4 times 30x? 120x. Keep the sign. Plus 4 times 3? 12. 12. Very good. All right. Now, notice we have this minus, and we need to change this to plus. So just remember, though, if I'm changing this to plus, what happens to this set of print I? It's going to change all the signs inside. So the 120x here is going to be negative. negative. And this 12 will now be a, well, the sign in between the 12 and negative 120x now. And it's going to change to minus. So, hmm. Minus. Come on, minus. There you go. Big fat minus sign, right? All right, now, does adding it uh, the way it just showed on that last one, does that help, you guys, if they're stacked like that? Like negative uh, 56x plus 144, and you got negative 120x minus 12. Is that helpful? Sure. Most people do prefer this method of adding and subtracting like terms. If I continue to do it this way, I would split these terms up right there. Okay, to the left of the operation, I've got negative 56x minus 120x. Well, we're going to keep that x, uh, but uh, we're going to go farther into the negative, so negative 176x. Then we've got this 144 minus 12, well, 2 and 3 and 1, and it's positive. So this down here in the bottom left is my answer. So the Iditarod takes place in Alaska, and they make dogs pull a lot of weight, and they go for, you can see, 1,150 miles, oh my God. and the dogs love it, but the humans hate it, as it turns out. Okay? It's a form of human punishment that we should send prisoners there to do the Iditarod. Okay? <laughs> so, on this one, notice they've used a term in here that you guys may have never heard of, zero pairs. That's just a fancy way of saying we're subtracting, okay? But remember, this is a math class, so it does need to be in such a way that we appear smarter than we are, okay? All right, again, notice on this second example, listen, if you guys really want to, you can use these... Uh, models, right? The green rectangles and the, the red squares, or whatever you want, all right? But really, all we're doing is taking this and making it a positive, make that a negative x, and then a plus 2, okay? Well, you can see you've got two x's minus the one x would give you an x, and then the negative 3 plus 2 would give you a negative 1, so x minus 1. Try A and B. Bananas. All right, Micah's going to do A for us up in here. Okay. Well, can you explain what you're doing while you're doing it? Uh, there's 
negatives, there's a minus, so I have to change them to positives. And 5x plus negative 2x is 3x. And negative 9 plus 7 is negative 2. Bam! Very good. All right, Carly will do B for us. Oh, God. Hey, let her go. She's going to explain. Okay, so you have to change all the operations. So that's positive, negative, and positive. Then you could do 6x minus 10, and then negative 2x plus 8, and this is 4x minus 2. Oh, bam! Good job. So that uh, it's not 2x plus or minus anything, right? It's just 2x. So just make it negative 2x. Okay? There's no need. All right, try C and D. <laughs> okay, so you have to change the operations. I didn't, I didn't realize how, how, when I, where I was starting. So 3x minus... 5x is going to be negative 2x. And you have a plus, negative 2. Plus 4 is going to be um, positive 2, so positive 2. That is correct. <laughs> All right, Ashley, we'll do D. Okay. Um, so, that plus. That plus, and that. Minus. And then. You know, okay, 4x <laughs> plus 2x. 4 plus 2 is 6x. And then negative 4 minus 2. Or negative 4 plus negative 2. Negative 6. No. Very good. Else? Excellent. Good job, Ashley. Hey, uh, the additive inverse here, this, this additive inverse stuff, is just more of this math lingo to confuse you, all right? All we're doing is subtracting, see? Okay, so again, we, if we change this to plus, this 3x now becomes a negative 3x, and this plus 1 becomes a minus 1, okay? And you get the same answer. All right, here's another example. Just once again, we change this to plus. That'd be a positive 5x now, and that'd be plus 2. We'll do E. What do you want to go out in the hall? Oh, okay. So right here you just add it, you change that, and then you change that to negative 2, and then minus 7. So then right here it's a positive 4, and then down, like right here is positive 4, and then right there is negative 2 because of that, and then minus 3, which is now negative 3, and minus 7. That's like from that. So then you just kind of do it after that. That's kind of messy. Oh, that's good. But it, it works. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Okay. All right, Quaid is going to do F. Okay. Missy. Okay. So you have to change these. Oh, that was a fail. Uh, you have to change these, the operations. That would be negative. That would be a negative. Bad no, because there's two <laughs> negatives. And then you do 5, subtract 2, do 5x, subtract 
this negative 2, which would be uh, 3, 3x, and then you do 4, negative 4, subtract negative 3, which is negative 7. And that's your answer. All right, very good. Yeah. Well, subtract negative, Let me just point something out real quick about this word problem on number three, okay? These word problems, they throw in all these uh, nice words to confuse you, right? But really all we need to focus on are the expressions. Uh, and then it says write an expression to find how many more runs. Since we want to know how many more, we would subtract the two, okay? Uh, for example, if I said, uh, how much more do I weigh than you? Which is a very large number. How much do you but uh, you, would, you would take my weight and subtract yours, which would be extremely small. And you would find some other large number. Okay?